kids, bruh. <laughs> What's up today? We are back with another video. And as you guys can see, we are back on the road. We're enjoying this little bit of sun before the weather starts to get cold, bro. So I'm out here in a tank top. Check me out, check me out. Tank top. Anyways, but um, the weather's starting to get cold, but luckily for us, this load we are currently on is going to Texas. Lancaster, Texas. So we don't have to worry about the cold just yet on this load, but I'm sure we're gonna run into it very soon. But we are currently over here in McKenna'sville, Michaelersville, outside of Asheville. And um, as you guys know, Asheville did get hit by the hurricane and a lot of it is bad over there. But with that being said, um, I got to see kind of a little bit of it firsthand for myself today. And from what I've seen, luckily there are a lot of people out here that's helping them. So that is a good thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me um on this load so we're about to head to texas here in a little bit and um this road to get over here to this pickup bro is crazy it's so small through a little mountain so i literally stopped my semi i stopped my semi in the middle of the road bro because i i didn't know you know as a driver sometimes you get that feeling of i don't know if i'm supposed to be here so i stopped my semi in the middle of the road and um there's dump trucks and everything going by so i waved down a dump truck driver and i said hey man can i send my fit down there and he was like yeah you should be able to just take it slow then about that time a national guard guy came down and he's like yeah bro you're good uh well i don't even know if it's ma national guard so to say but it was a military person i want to thank the military for all that they're doing and helping um you know keep us united but he's like yeah bro you're good just go on down there just take your time so i made it over here to my pickup um and the bridge y'all go see it coming out of here bro the bridge is so small it's crazy uh coming in it's not much wiggle room on either side of the truck so whenever you're getting on that bridge it is a little scary but with that being said we're getting loaded now about to go get our paperwork and everything then we're gonna be hitting the road uh today is my first day back on the road from my home time and this is one reason pre-trips are so important bro leaving home this morning doing my pre-trip I realized that I had a flat tire, so that put me a little bit behind. Um, but the tire, I went to the Loves the other week, uh, get a trailer fixed, and that tire was low. So I told them to put air in it, and then I had to put air in it again. But while at the Loves, I had them like evaluate it, and they was like, nothing's wrong with it, it's just leaking. But me knowing life, bro, if, if it's leaking, there has to be a reason for it to be leaking constantly. And I fill it up, it lasts about a week, and then it leak back out so there was a slow leak they didn't water test or anything so when i was doing my pre-trip um before i knew i checked it to make sure it had air in it it didn't have much air in it whatsoever so i leak tested it and i seen like a very faint bubble coming out called the company so they had somebody come out here and fix that tire at my house so we're back on the road today getting loaded now and we yeah, man we're gonna be hitting this road in a little bit I don't even know if I need a load lock, uh, but we'll go grab one just in case. Um, I know this load is sitting low to the ground, so that will be one of our main concerns of really getting a load lock on here. But we're going to have to stop at a um, truck stop to weigh this load. It's 43,000 and some change. Hmm. 
I wonder if he's going to Texas also. I think he said he about to stop for the day though. He is. Let me go holler at him real quick. Let me go holler at him. Hey, are you going to Texas also? Yeah, man. To Lancaster? Uh, I'm going to Marshall. Oh, I'm going to Lancaster. Which way are you taking? Are you going to 26 down to 85 through Georgia? Or are you going to go State, well, I think State Route 70 it's something. 70 to 40, to the 20. Uh huh. But it's still gonna go, yeah, to Georgia. Okay, so you're just gonna go to the top. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll see ya. He's going to Marshall, Texas. Let's do my, my loaded call. Loaded call. Uh, depart shipper. Where's my paperwork? Here it is. So with us going to Texas, we're going to honestly be losing, uh, well, technically we're going to be gaining an hour. So um, that's good that we're going to be gaining an hour or whatever. So we'll be good yeah the best yeah that's gonna be the best way is to ride 26 to 85 if i the other way that my gps is showing is taking me through state route all the way over till i get to 26 to bypass that 40 mark so it's gonna put me on state route and i don't know what that state route is really looking like so i was just gonna go the way i know is um for sure will get me to my destination and um, it, it's the quicker, uh, it's less time also and miles. <sighs> yeah, when I come out of 26, it got me going on to like a state route for like 10, 20 miles and then it go put me right onto 85 and ride 85 down what'd you say all right so um basically i try to tell my dispatcher what i'm seeing what I've seen on the road so far. Hey, 26 to 40 is no good. We'll take 26 to 81, okay? Yes, I understand 26 to 81 because you want me to make this fuel stop. With that being said, it's three hours out of route, out of way to make a fuel stop, bro. To make a fuel stop is not that important, um, especially when there's a thousand other truck stops, right? So, no, we can't do that. And I'm telling you, bro, they got hit by this storm over here. I don't know what those roads got going on. I'm trying to avoid those roads. And I'm just trying to avoid the roads. Why would I drive into the, the stupidness not knowing what there is in front of me compared to you letting me do my job, trip plan my load, and get my load to its destination? Let me do my job, bro. That's all I'm asking. My job is to trip plan a load, get the load there on time and when it needs to be there. So me riding 26 down to 185, jumping eight on to 85 and going through Georgia, bro, is the shortest, most fast way. And I can, I know how to maneuver through Georgia. If you, with this time I have, I know how to maneuver through Georgia, bro. But you want me to go not only three hours out of the, 
add three hours onto my clock, onto my time to get to this destination, you want me to go through the middle of the BS, bro. Let me just do my job, bro. This is that bridge I was talking about, though. It's scary, dude. Super scary. But anyways, let me tell y'all what happened the other day, bro. All right, so the other day when I was taking that Walmart load to Nebraska, bro, I had stopped uh, right outside of Kansas City, um, probably like an hour outside of Kansas City, there was a Love's. So I stopped at that Love's to use the bathroom and I, that was my stopping point for the day. Uh, get me some food. So while I was there, I was walking and I parked in the back of the truck stop, figured, hey man, couple extra steps won't hurt so that way I can get me a couple more steps and I parked all the way in the back of the truck stop well as I get to the truck stop like close to the store um this this black guy comes out and he's looking at me he's like yo they racist in there be careful about what you do I'm like bro I, I, I'm literally just going okay I understand all right cool I'm gonna pay attention they racist all right cool bet he's like yo come here come here so I you know, I gotta tell you something. So I walk over to him and we, we're talking or whatever. He keeps saying, nah, don't look at me. Act like we not talking, just keep walking. And most of the time, bro, when somebody says that to you, they're up to no good, bro. So we walk around by the fuel aisle and everything right behind the truck on the side of it, on the driver's side where the people in the store can't see us. About that time, bro says to me, yeah, bro, they're racist in there. They won't let me buy no beer. They saying I'm drunk and we're about two feet from each other at this point. And all I smell coming off of bruh's breath is straight alcohol, bro. Drunk, intoxicated, crazy, wild, you're gone, finished. And he's swaying up and down, he's not drunk. He's saying, oh, I haven't drunk all day. Then he'll keep talking, slurring his words, can't stand up saying, well, actually I did drink one this morning. So I'm trying to figure out which one it is at this point. Have, or have, or have you been drinking today or have you not been drinking today? But after that, he goes, hey man, I'm rich. Okay, this ain't no Diddy party. Why are you telling me that, big fella? And he goes, here's $20. Can you go in there and buy me a beer? So he gave me $20 right i go inside and i'm thinking the whole time but i'm not buying you no beer first of all why do you need to drink in your truck if you're not addicted to it bro you might have a problem so uh as soon as i walk into the store the whole time i'm not knowing i don't think he knew cops was watching us so cops come over pull pull me to the side and like hey what'd he say to you i was like oh, he just asked me to buy him a beer Come to find out, bro's been trespassed from the store. He's not even allowed to buy uh, any alcohol from the location. They take the $20 from me. So this is just part of the, the whole storm or whatever. They take the $20 from me and um, they go and they return it to him. It's a poop show out here, man. And it's sad. That's the crazy part. It's so sad, bro. So 
So long story short, they took the twenty dollars from me. He got a ticket for being intoxicated in a semi, um, and he had open containers all in there. Cause when I went back to the truck, there was literally empty containers on the ground where Brother Man been drinking all day. Hey, you got to wait a second, buddy. I'm sorry, gang. Why does my fridge keep opening, bro? That's not good right there. So I guess we're gonna go this route. He's telling me to go, bro. Um, I honestly cannot find this route though. He's telling me to go 26 North to 81 West. And I thought 26 went East to West. So I have to find these signs for 26 North, bro, because I'm a, I'm a thousand percent positive 26 does not go North to South. It's East to West. Le let me know bro am i tripping or 26 does go north to south because i can i swore bro 26 goes east to west because on my gp both of my gps gps's this one got me going 26 east that one got me going 26 west right and i cannot find no 26 north he told me take 26 north to 81 west i don't know bro but whenever i find 26 north i'm gonna tap back in with you guys i don't know if y'all can see that but that's part of where the hurricane hit and that shed that's collapsed down there it has um an old classic beetle down in there bro it looked like they had put money into it it, it's totally destroyed now bro this is just it's sad all right so we are currently on 85 yesterday was i don't know bro it was it was a mental day of uh, trying to communicate things and people not wanting to receive the information i'm telling them but we got up this morning we had to go stop at our fuel stop i'm at a pilot and we are on 85 and we're about to take exit 95b and nine miles and all the way to my exit is red and orange traffic um and i'm not even technically in atlanta yet uh people are chatting on a cb i think it's a wreck or something up ahead of me that they were saying so there's that so like how you guys see them school buses right there my question is as of right now it's 9 20 right so school probably starts at what eight o'clock so when these kids live in like cities like this how does that work when school starts at eight o'clock it's 9 20 and they're still in traffic because you know like right here going into atlanta on 85 there's always traffic here so there's multiple times a week that these kids are late getting to school like I, I doubt you they can be marked tardy because of that but at the same time it's like that's an hour two hours a day like maybe let's say six hours a week of education that these kids are missing and then on top of that our kids in america are already falling behind on the education charts so we can really be done about that bro because i feel like there has to be something that has to be changed with this, bro. These kids, bro. <laughs> These kids is crazy, gang. 
I know that bus driver, man. He like, y'all better stop that shit. <laughs> they want it again. <laughs> All right, I ain't pulling it no more, gang. That's the third time. Watch, right, they gonna tell me to do it again. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I know we ain't supposed to pull that horn unless it's something urgent, but anytime a kid asks me to pull the horn, I'm gonna pull it, bro. I'm trying to get in front of them so they don't ask me no more because <laughs> they didn't ask me a lot. <laughs> but how many, t how can you say no to a kid, bro? At the end of the day, you don't know what a child is going through and that can brighten up their day. So if they ask me to pull it, I'm gonna pull it every time. Write me a ticket, do what you gotta do. If I can put a smile on a child's face for something positive or motivate a child to do something better in life, I'm gonna do it every time, bro. I'm trying to stay back. I'm trying to stay back. I don't wanna go back past them. But we're gonna have to take 285 west here in a second and about six miles. Um, the traffic looked like it's starting to open up a little bit better, but not really because um, currently we're in the red. Because currently we're in the red, uh, we're about to really just get into the orange for a little while. And then after the orange, we're gonna end up going back into the red. So we'll just do what we can do, try to get there safely and as time efficient as we can there's really no need to rush um from my understanding listen to the radio uh the traffic is like this because there was two wrecks back to back um so that's one reason either leave earlier in the day bro the speed limit is 55 and you're running 70 bro you're not really going to make up any time bro so these kids is wild bro <laughs> So you're not really gonna make up any time uh, with that being said. So what's the point in really speeding if you're not gonna, yeah, you might make up one or two minutes. To really make up a difference, you have to be getting down the highway, bro. Uh, so let's say that speed limit is 55. You gotta at least be going 100 if you really wanna see a time change of really getting there early. Uh, because most of the time these cars, they're not driving crazy distances. They might be driving 20 miles a day and that's not gonna make a huge change time-wise. So, bro, if, if, if you're driving, slow down, bro. If you're gonna be late, just be late. If you got most jobs, if you're late, there's a point system. It don't matter if you're five minutes late. Well, most of them give you like a 15 minute window. It don't matter if you're 15 minutes late or an hour late bro you're still going to get the same amount of points so what's the point in speeding yeah your check might be a little bit shorter or whatever um because you are late but at the at the same time bro you know what you're getting yourself into you know where you live you know what you got to drive through every single day so while we wait until the last minute to get where we're trying to go but anyways, I'm gonna tap back in with you guys after we get out of this traffic. This traffic is doing too much. Um, I'm about to just listen to some music and wait till I get out of this traffic and uh, I'll, I'll hit y'all back up whenever we stop to take our 30 later on today. All right, what's up? So we are over here in Dallas as of right now. Um, we're about three miles away from our delivery um, and we hear some traffic. So I don't know what's going on. Let me see if anybody on the CB know what's going on. Anybody know what's causing this slowdown? So I guess nobody knows what's causing the slowdown. But yeah, bro, so we're about three miles away from our delivery over here in Dallas. Um, this is going to be a live unload. So I'm gonna take you guys in with me and everything once we get over there to the destination. For the live unload. Hey drivers, anybody want to get out the tent? But pull over and jump together. Pull over other drivers, anyone? You got any baby oil? Yes, sir. 
Lots of baby oil. You got the one from the store or you got the kind P. Diddy had? Yeah, the Diddy kind. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll meet you over at the next exit, 467B. Come on back. Don't tell me you're backing out now. I think this is our destination right here on the right. Building trust. Yeah, so this is gonna be our destination. My question is, where do I park at in the meantime, though? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna just turn around. Yeah, because it's pretty big down in here. That's what I'll do. I'll go over here. Because I don't want to just park on the street and be blocking traffic. So, in the meantime, I'll come over here make me a u-turn and that way um i'll sight side in Cause it look like I'm gonna have to back off the street anyways to get into this place. keep pulling up because I know you're not allowed to park in front of a fire hydrant. Ugh. And then that way people can still get in if need be. I swear there was just vehicles parked right there, bro. Hopefully they have me back here. That way I can just pull up. Let's see. They don't say what side of shipping or receiving. All right. We just checked in, gave the dude our paperwork. So we are gonna go to that dock over there. Dock two. Let's go ahead and pop this lock and set up. That's my house key. That's not going to work. So we made it on over here into Dallas, Texas. Technically, really Lancaster, Texas to make this delivery. As you guys can see, um, the GoPro turned off before I got into the dock, but we did get into the dock. We made this delivery. Um, they're working on us right now. This load was around 43,000 and some change pounds. The drop over here was not bad at all. Only traffic we really hit was the traffic that you've seen in Atlanta. And then when we was about three miles away, that traffic you've seen also, we hit that traffic. But other than that, it was a smooth ride. We're over here, they're unloading us.
Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, he was waving at us. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this long to the end of the video, we are out. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Subscribe, 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 bro. Subscribe to your boy. But anyways, we are on the road to 1500 subs, bro. So make sure y'all subscribe. We made it on down here. Thank y'all for watching.